Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. A few years ago, Darren and I went to Ukraine and they have trees around just about every big field they've got because Stalin, back when he was around, told everybody, you're planting trees, period because it was the Depression era, and the problem back then was everybody had to till all their fields, they had tremendous erosion problems, and having trees everywhere slowed up the wind a little bit so we didn't have as much erosion. From day one, Brian, farmers have been very concerned about reducing the amount of erosion potential on their farms, and planting trees around cuts down that wind, and that's a good thing. The other thing that it does as you move further west in the Corn Belt is those tree belts happen to catch some snow. So a lot of times you end up with snow drifts coming out of the tree belts right into the field, and that's where farmers will oftentimes get their best crop yields because the ground is fully charged with water in those particular areas. Yeah, but on the flip side, there are a lot of farmers that are ripping trees out because if the trees aren't maintained, well, you know, trees only live so long. Then the trees start dying and they're falling over and they're running into, well, we've even had it on our own farm where with the combine, you're not really paying attention when you're coming around the corner and there's this tree that you think is really tall until you get the brand new combine that's that much taller taller and all of a sudden we got a major problem well, there. on one pass on, <laughs> on my farm brand last year I had to get out four or five times out of the combine to try and throw branches out of the way because they fell down into a field that had seven eight nine foot tall corn well you don't see it until you get in there with the header and all of a sudden it's a problem so there's an issue with branches the other thing that's come up is with drainage tile when you've got some tree belts a lot of times they run right along by grass waterways or areas where there's going to be water draining in the field and when farmers want want to put drainage tile in, those roots from the trees go out at least twice well, as far as they go up yeah, our standard and end up with some issues. Yeah, our standard rule is as tall as the tree is, let's call it 50 feet, let's say is the top of the tree, then you have to be at least 100 feet away from that with tile, at least 100 feet away. Well, so not that's just, a big deal. Not just for drainage tile, we have to be worried about the tree roots. We also have to worry about herbicides. There are a number of herbicide options that farmers may choose to use to control weeds right up to the edge of those tree belts, but it could hurt the trees if the roots were happen would happen well, to take in those Well, hurt the trees. Herbicides. I'm worried about hurting the crops because the problem is if you have, let's say, a shelter belt and then you have crop on the north side of the shelter belt, at least where we farm in the upper Midwest, that sunlight has a a real tough time getting over the top of those trees and so we end up losing crop on the north side of shelter belts so that's a problem. Well we end up losing some moisture too because the trees take in a tremendous amount of water yep. and they have roots that are completely established early in the spring. Yeah so the, the whole point here is we wanted to talk to you about why we have shelter belts out there and a lot of it has to do with erosion reduction and also with catching some moisture like snow and that kind of thing reducing the amount of snow that gets onto roads some people will set stuff up so they have less snow on the roads but the flip side is we have so much problem as farmers with the trees starting to fall down with the trees shading out our crops so it hurts yield it does go both ways so you have to really be careful and be diligent about how you're setting this up and how you're maintaining it if you want the most effectiveness on a farm there are certainly a lot of pros and cons to almost everything on the farm except if you have our weed of the week it's a big negative we want to wipe it out we'll show you how coming up later in the show